Hello again. It's Greg from Can I Go and Play Now? And I'm out in the woods again. And we've got Epi and Bonnie. They're around somewhere. I think Epi might even be behind me. But both of them today are really sniffing around. You can hear Bonnie's feet on the dry leaves. The whole forest, the whole wood just seems to be decked out in dried leaves at the minute. We're having a great time anyway. And I was just listening with Epi actually. There's a bird really high up in one of the trees. Can you hear it? There. It's singing away to its heart's content. I hope you're all well and all happy and everyone's staying safe. I thought as I was in the wood, what I'd do is I'd come and tell you a story all about a wood and about a little girl that lived in a wood. And one of her relatives isn't very well. And because this character's so kind, she decides to go and take some cakes for her relatives to eat. Can you think of the story? Yes, you're right, it's Little Red Riding Hood, isn't it? So let's have a little think about, oh, can you see Epi look trying to get up into the tree? She's, she's definitely found something up there. Anyway, back to our story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood, and she lived in a wood. One day, she went out to go and take her grandma some cakes. Her grandma lived in a little cottage deep in the wood. Along the way, she whistled a little tune. Very soon, she got to grandma's house. Knock, knock, knock. Come in, said a voice. Do you think it's Grandma? Little Red Riding Hood stepped through the front door and went in to the cottage. Grandmother was in bed. Hello, my dear, said Grandma. Little Red Riding Hood put the cakes down on the bedside table and sat next to Grandma. Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, said Grandma. Oh, Grandma, what big fairy ears you've got. All the better to hear you with, said Grandma. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with shouted Grandma, and up jumped the wolf, because that's what it was. It wasn't Grandma, really. It was the wolf, wasn't it? And he jumped up, and he started to chase Little Red Riding Hood around and around. Round and around, round and around. Oh, no! Help! Shouted Little Red Riding Hood. Suddenly, there appeared a woodcutter, and with his big, sharp axe, he chased the wolf away back through the wood. And the wolf was never ever seen again. And hopefully that was the end of the big bad wolf. But do you know what? Grandma hadn't been eaten. She was actually just falling asleep in the cupboard. She'd actually been put in there by the wolf and then just dozed off. So she was absolutely fine. And do you know what? Both the woodcutter, woodcutter and grandma joined the Red Riding Hood and they sat down and they enjoyed some really, really nice cake with some hot steaming tea. And they all lived happily ever after. And do you know who else is going to live happily ever after? Bonnie and Epi. Did you see Epi look jumping up at the screen? She's gone off again now. I can see her over there. She's gone to go and find something else to sniff. Well, that was our story today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't you pretend that you are having a tea party? You could do that, couldn't you? You could find some cups out of the kitchen cupboard. And even if you didn't make tea, you could pretend and have some little, have some water maybe in a, in, in a teapot, some cold water, and you could stir it around. And maybe you could invite your family to come and join you. I wonder what might be on the menu. Hey, I've got a great idea. You could even write a little menu, couldn't you? Or even draw one, that would be quite cool. Anyway, 
I'm going to go and find Bonnie and Eppy. Everyone stay safe, and I shall see you again very, very soon. Bye from Bonnie, bye from Eppy, and bye from the big bad wolf. <laughs>